everybody, welcome back. Happy Monday. I hope you had an amazing weekend and I hope your week is starting off wonderfully. So today we are making some Easter egg bread. So I saw this recipe when I was younger somewhere and I thought it was so cute and I have not seen it since. And so I was Googling it and I'm like, what is the bread that they stick eggs into? Because it would be so cute to me for Easter. And it's egg bread, which makes sense. So that's what we're making today. This is a beautiful, beautiful loaf of bread and it's braided and then it has little hard boiled eggs stuck between the braids just to make it look so cute and festive. Like how cute would this be for Easter morning to just like sit down and have this for breakfast and have it be like nice and warm and delicious and cute and festive and oh my gosh. Anyways, this is actually, this is actually, this is actually super easy as well. So let's get started. So first you wanna place some sugar, yeast, salt, and two cups of all-purpose flour in the bowl of an electric mixer and set that aside. Then you wanna heat some milk in your microwave until it's about 120 degrees Fahrenheit to 130 degrees, but if you don't have a thermometer, literally just heat it for like a minute and a half or until it's hot. Not bubbling over, but just until the milk is hot. And then add that to the mixture that is in the electric mixer, as well as some butter. And mix on medium speed for two minutes. Then add three eggs and vanilla extract and beat on high speed for two minutes. And gradually add some more flour until the dough is soft and still sticky. So you might not need to add all of the flour that's like listed in the recipe, I didn't, um, so it just it depends on like, the community of your house and everything like that. Um, so just keep adding until the dough, look, dough? the dough looks soft and sticky and then stop there. I added too much so I had to like add some like milk and water to like thin it down, it was awful. But um, yeah, so just don't add it all at once, just like add little by little and see how the dough looks. And then you wanna mix it on medium speed for about eight minutes for the dough to knead together and knead itself and for the flour and yeast to develop. Or you could also do this stage by hand, just knead it on your table or your like your your baking surface. What am I talking about? Your like your counter. Um, it's totally optional. I love the KitchenAid because it's so handy. It's like it's hands free basically. <laughs> but yeah, totally up to you. And you want to knead until it's smooth and elastic. Then pop the dough into a grease bowl and then rotate it once in the bowl so that it's greased on all sides. Cover with plastic wrap and place in a warm spot until it's doubled in size for about 45 minutes. And while you're waiting for the dough to rise, you want to dye some hard boiled eggs with the food coloring. And you can see my tutorial that I'll link in the cards right here for how to perfectly dye eggs. And allow the eggs to dry completely. Punch down the dough and then transfer it to a floured surface. Divide it into three portions and roll each portion out into a 24 inch long rope. Place the ropes on a greased baking sheet and then break them together. Bring the ends together to form a ring and then pinch the edges together to seal. Brush the hard boiled eggs with some canola oil and then stick them into the braid, kind of like folding them or tucking them between the ropes. Cover the bread with a kitchen towel and allow it to rise in a warm spot until it's doubled in size for about 20 minutes. Combine the remaining one egg and water in a bowl and whisk together. Brush this onto the surface of the dough, avoiding the eggs. Then bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 30 minutes or until it's golden brown. Then just pull on a wire rack and you are done. So this does taste best when it is done warm or when it's eaten warm. So if you're making these, definitely slice it up when it's warm and eat it and it will taste so good. Um, and also the hard boiled eggs. So you wanna hard boil them before you actually insert them into the dough. Don't use raw eggs and they'll be completely fine and completely edible after you bake them. So I know they're like, when I was looking up online, there were a lot of questions about that. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you're notified when tomorrow's video goes live because I'm uploading every single day from Monday to Friday. And I love you guys so much. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.